Hiya, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a fairly simple uh, spiderweb granny square. So this uses very basic crochet. I have made a pattern, both a written pattern and a chart. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can download these. And the yarn I'm using is a four ply yarn and I'm using a three millimeter hook. You can use any yarn you want and obviously use the appropriate hook to go with it. So if you're using DK yarn, you can make this as well, but it will just obviously come out a bit bigger. So to start off with, I'm going to make a slip knot, And I'm going to use that to attach the yarn to the hook. And to start off with, I am going to chain 8. So to chain, it's really easy. You just grab the yarn with the hook and pull it through the hoop that is already on the hook. And that's a chain one so you want to do this eight times you don't want to pull the um, stitches too hard because if your tension's really tight it will make it harder to go back through the stitches later on which is something I do a lot but I can't help it. I just have tight tension I don't know why I just can't seem to do things loose so once you've done the chain eight you want to put your hook through that first stitch that you've done then we're going to grab the yarn and pull it through the two hoops that are now on your hook and this is a slip stitch and this is how we're basically going to finish every round with a slip stitch so then you want to chain one just to get a little bit of height and as you can see now we've created this little hoop hold the tail end of that yarn to one side and we're going to crochet it over so we're going to do 16 single crochets here so it's just a really simple stitch That's the first one and now I'll explain what I'm doing. So I'm going to go through the middle of that hoop, grab the yarn, pull it through to the front. So I've got two hoops now on my hook, grab the yarn again and pull it through both hoops and that is a single crochet. So you go underneath, grab the yarn, pull it through to the front, grab the yarn again, pull it through the two hoops. So you want to do this 16 times all the way around this hoop whilst keeping that tail bit of yarn in the middle of the stitches so you're crocheting it over and you can just cut off any excess a bit later unless it's really bugging you then you can do it after this row is finished so to finish this row once you've done 16 you take your hook put it through the top of that first stitch grab the yarn and pull it through the two hoops that are on your hook and that's the slip stitch again like I say that's how you finish every round next round we're going to be doing double crochets but for this first stitch we're going to chain three and that's going to represent the first double crochet and then we're going to have a chain one in between the double crochets so to double crochet we wrap the yarn around once before you go through the stitch on the previous round grab the yarn pull it through so you've got three hoops on there now. I'm going to grab the yarn again, pull it through two of the hoops, grab the yarn, pull it through two of the hoops and then we're just going to chain one. So wrap it around, go through the stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through to the front, you've got three hoops. Grab the yarn again, pull it through two of the hoops and then grab the yarn again, pull it through the second lot and that's a double crochet in between that you're going to chain one so you're going to do this in every single crochet on the first round and because that first chain three counts, counts as your first double crochet you'll be doing 15 actual double crochets if that makes sense if it doesn't I recommend looking at the chart version because you better see what I'm talking about so once you've got to the end of that round don't forget to do that chain one at the end you want to go through the the third stitch of that chain three at the beginning so you just pop your hook through there and you slip stitch that to join it and start the next round in the next round we're going to be doing treble crochets so we're going to chain four to represent the treble crochet, 
for the first one and the gap between the treble crochets is going to be a chain three so you want to add another three chains on top of that so you'll be chain seven to start off with here then you're going to go through the top of each double crochet by making a treble crochet and to do this you wrap the yarn around the hook three times eh, twice <laughs> sorry twice before going through that stitch so wrap the yarn around twice and then we're going to go through the top of the double crochet so you've already got three hoops on your hook at the moment see this is what I mean where you have trouble if you do it too tight <laughs> so you grab the yarn and pull it back through to the front and you'll have four hoops on your crochet hook now. Grab the yarn and you're gonna put through two hoops. Grab the yarn again, pull it through another two. Then grab the yarn again and pull it through the last two. And that's your treble crochet. And then we're gonna chain three. So one, two, Three, and then we're going to do another tri triple crochet into the top of the double crochet and we're going to do this all the way around until you get back to the beginning again so like I say it's very repetitive but the stitches don't get any harder than this it's just double crochets, single crochets treble crochets and just one more later but it's all along the same lines just don't forget to chain three in between each treble crochet so once you get finished the last one don't forget to chain three and then you want to go through the fourth chain on that first chain uh, chain seven it was so you want to go through the fourth chain and slip shit slip stitch that <laughs> to connect it and then we can start the next row and the next row is pretty much the same you'll be using treble crochets so we're going to chain four for the first treble crochet but this time the space in between is actually going to be a chain five so you're going to chain another five so that's chain nine for this the first one and then we're going to treble crochet into every treble crochet on the previous row so don't get to wrap around the yarn twice before going through the stitch grabbing the yarn pull it through grab the yarn again Put through just two hoops and through another two and then another two so you just have to do this all the way around again with a chain five in between each treble crochet and once you get to the end do that last chain five and again we're going to just slip stitch through the fourth chain stitch and this is the end of the round that's going to be like a round shape in the following um, rows that's when I'm going to start making it as look a slightly bit more like a square but that will be part two which will be coming up shortly and this again <laughs> is why you don't want tight stitches it gets very fiddly so don't make my mistake I repeat don't make my mistake but I'll see you in part two in a second thanks for watching see you soon <laughs>